Welcome to Bright, the ultimate daily planner app for all your productivity needs. That's at least what it, what it says on the website. I'd like to thank Bright for sponsoring this video, but this is, as always, an unbiased review on another productivity tool. Essentially, yes, Bryce is a productivity tool that is a daily planner that allows you to, on your desktop or on the go with the mobile app, streamline your to-do list, habits, docs, calendar, and notes into one application. Now, why would you use Bright as your daily planner? Well, you can have a bunch of different apps, right? You could have Moodaria calendars and tasks apps, a shopping list, or you can just use one great tool like Bright which will aggregate all of these different things. You'll have access to over 20 plus tools in one versatile platform rather than the disjointed not funness. You can get started for free or pay a very small $3.29 a month or four and a half dollars a month for a monthly option, which to be honest in this space, especially for daily planner apps is very cheap. Diving right into this application, it has a, a very nice my day view, which unlike other apps has the ability to add widgets. Yeah, that's right. We got multiple different widgets that we can drop in here. So I can put the weather app very easily on the sidebar. I'm gonna allow the location to be known. You can see if I click on this guy, it shows the weather today through the rest of the week. It's in Celsius. If I press the three dots here and change the settings and change the color of the widget, the name as well. And I can add multiple different widgets within here as well. There's a built-in Pomodoro timer. So let's pick orange here as that color. As you can see, I can move these widgets around up and down and add even more. So let's say we wanted to add an inspirational quote. So creativity is intelligence having fun. Albert Einstein, that's a good one. I like that actually. And then within here, I'm also able to move these other widgets up and down as well. And for example, remove this. So we have multiple sections for widgets and I'm a huge fan of the way that this works because oftentimes it's really hard to aggregate everything and a lot of apps don't give you the option to, to look at you know all of your different things in the order that you'd like, but this is a nice option here. And if you have something like specific countdowns as well, this is a cool one, so I can add this to my sidebar. And over here, I can add a lot of similar widgets as well. Things like finance widgets, habit tracker, which is already on the main screen, so it's not gonna add it twice. It shows added once you've added something. And then sounds is another really cool too one, right? So you could use sounds to, for example, start listening to some rain. Hmm, beautiful. <laughs> While you work in the app, you can uh, click on it, click off, and you can obviously just press a stop or pause and then go again in order for this to go on and off. And within any of these different widgets, you can clearly see an add button. So for example, if I wanted to add a countdown, I can add a countdown. So what's the date? Uh, it's, uh, let's say it's August 1st. Start my business. And then I could change the color of this too if I wanted. Change the cover, or the icon. I can just do a briefcase to look cool here. And I could add any sort of notes that I wanted. And as you can see, there is a block builder for the different ways that you can move these text items here. You can add new blocks very similar to what you find in a markdown option like Notion. And if I press enter a couple times, you can see if I do a bullet point, it'll do it. If I do multiple hashtags, it's got markdown. And if I do a backslash, it's got similar options to what you'd find within something like Notion or ClickUp Docs and all these other tools. And by clicking on the six dots, change the alignment, add blocks before and after, change the color of the background, you had a lot of different markdown options in here, which is really, really cool. And that's just an example of how it would work. And obviously something like notes, you have an entire markdown builder. So say I wanted to write notes on why bright is an awesome daily planner. I could, so I go to add icon, add a cover, very similar to what you'd see in Notion as well. You can change the cover and update it in Unsplash. Let's click on something like this. And then once again, I can put in slash H1 or slash H and I'll just do a header. Amazing. And then slash div for divider, or as we see in other markdown options, just do three dashes for a divider. Or as we see, we can do three dashes. And yeah, you can write what you please here, add multiple different sections, dividers, very similar to what you'd have in other markdown tools. It's awesome. Now you'll see that once you add something in the notes section though, that it'll go into this notes section over here. And very similarly, you could 
add a page by clicking on this plus icon. And all of these are move aroundable as well. So you can have your notes more at the top if you want. I personally like my day at the top. It gives a great daily planner view. And you're probably wondering, right? It's a daily planner. Can, can, I, can I have a calendar on this? Yes, obviously you can have a calendar on the sidebar. And when you press add, you can add items to the calendar. But what you gotta make sure you do is first connect your calendar. So by going here, what I can do is press the three dots at the top right over here and then continue with Google Calendar. So I would add my calendar in Google, select which calendar I would wanna see or not, like untick some of these or tick some of these on and you can see everything I got going on today. And if I wanted to, I can make new events by clicking on here, go to bed. <laughs> be an option for an event that I would definitely do tonight. You could make this a full day item very easily. Change the priority on this to priority. You can add repeat functionality, similar to what you do in any calendar app. Have a little cover action so it looks prettier. And yeah, write it in a full markdown description in here as well. And even have a focus timer associated to it too. You can see how all this kind of works very easily. You can right click and change the date. There's some quick options here for, for tomorrow without date. And then once the calendar has been added, you know, I go to my day and in here I can choose the calendar like meetings, press save, and then boom, it shows the different meetings. I can press settings here and change the background color if I'd like and change the name to be go settings, just meetings. So I seldom find ones that allow you to have a widget that showcases just all of the different like meetings that you've had or one specific calendar, but it's really nice. And in the details section, by clicking on that or by, you know, going here and just clicking on it, you can then actually see your full day and all of your calendars, or you can adjust it taking a week view, month view, and very much the same stuff that you'd get in your calendar as well. As you can see on the left over here, we do already have a daily planner item that showcases sort of all of the different events on your calendar, and you can adjust the day that it would show on this, and it would adjust the uh, daily planner accordingly because this note was marked for today, and very similarly, any you know diary additions or habits and everything within here would adjust based on the day. That's why I think this My Day view is beautiful because uh, we can you know adjust from within here seamlessly. And if we want to only see certain calendar events, we can go to the left over here and you know untick or add anything on here as well by clicking on the check items here. And if you want to see anything more or less on this sidebar, once again, all you have to do is click on this more button and then drag anything in here. So if you're not a habits person, you don't have to show this, but I am a habits person, right? So I'd wanna go in here and see the habit based system that I could have within Bright. So if I press add here, you have a myriad of different templates and options to choose from. So say, for example, I want to read, I could set this to repeat Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and repeat until, you know, I can set until a couple weeks from now, like August 1st. And then when I press save, it'll be added. And you can see when I go to Friday, my habit for reading a book will populate in my day view. And this works very much the same for all of these different options. And I'm just a huge fan of the different ways that, you know, you can segment different pieces of information and then bring it all back together on the My Day View. Now, from a general setting standpoint, you have the ability to change, you know, what time zone you're in, whether you want to be in Celsius or Fahrenheit. So I change this to Fahrenheit and then it changes the widget, obviously, to Fahrenheit. What time zone? I'm more of an American system person, so I change this from the metric system. Turn on, sounds, and on off, cheer up, have a password. What day does the week begin for me is, is Sunday because America is interesting like that. And then there's also the ability to add other extensions. Uh, I like your Google Calendar one, have an appearance change. So if I want to go dark mode, which I am a big fan of dark mode, it just seems like most people do better tutorial wise with light mode, change the main color. And if you want to see the roadmap for the product, we can click in on there. And there is a roadmap for what is new in progress and then what has been released. So you can see they're coming out with a full desktop Mac app, as well as an Apple Watch app and more collaborative features. A fasting widget for me would be really nice and it just keeps adding these layers to the different widgets that you can have because this product's goal is to aggregate all of those different things like you saw in the more section into one place. And in my opinion, it's off to an amazing start. Thanks again to Bright for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out more videos like this one on how to improve your productivity even more.